Hi, I'm stuck, and this, oh, this is Bound to Thursdays. And this video is sponsored by the amazing people over at Pentester's Lab. If you want to up your game and be a better pen tester, do check out pentesterlabs.com. Okay, Sam, Sam did it again. You know, he's a, he's a master at delivering cool talks and great write-ups. And when he teamed up together with Syed, Nahamsek, Irby Sam, and Static Flow, they spent three months just hacking Apple. And, and I, I know you probably had read this write-up, but if you haven't, please do give it that 15 minutes it takes to read it. It's over 9,000 words, uh, and it's, uh, it's just so nice to see what a couple of really amazing hackers can produce on a what, what we would kind of think would be a hardened target uh, in just three months. So FabFreak, which is a OSync tool for identifying the hashes of that fab icon that almost all websites have. You know, that tiny fab icon that's up next to the browser that you, you make those custom as well, but and forget about that. Anyway, FabFreak has been updated because the Sumer hacker just added like, I don't know, 500 new fingerprints to uh, to the tool sets using a PR. So I think that's that mm, that that gives you a new way to even find more of those alluring websites. And maybe maybe you're asking yourself, why would why would I even care about this? Well, let's say that you found a vulnerability in a certain kind of framework or application, or let's say, hey, let's say there's a new one of those big f5 bugs out or something and you want to identify at scale uh, which site have that instead of just looking at the response you can just look up the hash of the fav icon shodan's been doing this for years but I, I think it's a really cool thing and now you can do it too so git clone and run fab freak all right we all love content discovery and we like to do that real, really fast. So when Epi dropped Ferox Buster or Feroxide, let's see if I get this right, Ferric Oxide, which simply put is Rust. And this is a content discovery tool, Brute Forcer, written in Rust. So uh, it's super fast and it looks really, really good in the UI. But the really, really cool takeaway with this is that it has SOC support. Hey, so that means you can do your scan and forward it over to uh, Burp and run Burp for to get all the requests. So I haven't had any time to try this out yet, but it looks super promising. And give me a couple of days and I will see if I can dig into it. Um, but in the meantime, I recommend you to please do try it out, see if it works. If you like it and if you feel that it is a cool product, Leave a comment below so at least I know that it's cool. HTTPX has also been updated to the latest version and they're currently at the time of this recording at version 1002. And the latest upgrade to that, except a couple of fixes, has the new feature called CSP Probe. And that's really cool because as soon as the website has a CSP header set, it's going to probe those two for you. So you can get that extra, extra websites or subdomains that you didn't know that you had to look at being probed as well. Cool. Thank you for that. Their search has also been updated and is currently running at version 040. And the um, update changes was exclude extension argument added, added custom prefixes and suffixes, no dot extensions options, support HTTP request data, added minimal response length and maximum response length arguments, added include status codes and exclude status code arguments, added clean view option, added option to print the full URL in the output, added prefix and suffix arguments and multiple bug fixes. This looks super promising and I'm really happy that it's a new release out. So I'm, I'm absolutely going to give this a try. Jonah, the creator of FFUF has also made a request for the community to try out their new configuration files setup. So if you want to be a part of that, do check that out before it enters uh, final release. Uh, you can read more of that over at the FFUF GitHub. Speaking on FFUF, if you want to read 
really know how to run that tool and get a sick deep dive. There is no other than Codingo's um, video on the subject. It's it's such a masterclass. It's so well produced, and I know it took him always a month to put that together. So head over to his YouTube channel, watch that 400 times, and uh, and leave comments and do the thumbs up so he gets that kind of push to keep on putting that kind of high quality content out. Codingo, hats off, dude, hats off. Prashant Gupta or OX Dexter has dropped Recon Note. And, and you would probably say, why do we need another automation platform? Well, of course we do. Or at least we need to try it. We need to figure it out. And I think it's really cool that he's putting these, and more and more people are putting these projects out. It's somebody has just been sitting at home coding and doing their own recon platform and then sharing it with the community to for people to keep building on it or get inspired by it i i think that's an amazing thing so re, what, what does recon note do well it it finds subdomain from a mass find men sub finder and resolves subdomains using shuffle dns it takes screenshots runs port scans checks js files it should be ex it checks for status codes and subdomains and dear searches uh, and does some fussing it does the kind of basic recon that we all do anyway, so why not have a system do it for you? So Omar Beda dropped a new tool called Gitdorker, and it's directly inspired by GitRob and GitGot, both from Mitch Henriksen and Bishop Fox. And even though GitHub dorking is a thing, hey, why not automate that? I think it's really, really sweet that you're able to use a Python script that just gets a certain amount of data out for you if it hits or if it doesn't. So I, I would definitely recommend you to check that out. And even if you don't use the tool, use those dork as, dorks as inspirations to find stuff. Maybe on your next pen test engagement, you want to make sure that the client didn't push some weird code into their GitHub repos hey, then this might just be a good way for you to get that extra edge. One really cool burp plugin that I stumbled upon the other day is Gainsex Gold Nuggets. I just love word lists, right? And, and, and since I like to fuss APIs and uh, being able to, you know, if you find, you find that really nice subdomain, that's a dev instance, and you have this production server where all these API calls, and you want to find a way to get all those requests so you can just run intruder and just see if any of those hits on the other target as well. Usually you just have to change stuff or, or just export and, and, and work around with that. But not anymore. No, no, no. Golden Nuggets does that for you. So when you're done browsing a site, like you, lo you, lo you load your scope file, you go through all the websites, you browse them and you save blah, blah, blah. You brute force and stuff. And then you just mark them all, load up this burp extension, right click and and click on mine them good old nuggets and it creates three files for you one file that includes all the paths ones that includes all the words and and the final one contains all the parameters voila you got all those in your home directory you can just load those up and fuss away super simple super easy i just wish i knew about this tool earlier that would save me a lot of time so definitely go check out gain sex golden nuggets and give that a go I also would love to give a really massive warm thank you to everybody that supports me over at Patreon. We are now up at 22 amazing people that like to directly support the things that I do. And I'm forever grateful for that. Sponsorships and uh, direct support is the only way that I can keep this channel alive. I, I love doing it, so I want to keep on doing it. So um, thank you for everyone that's giving me the support i humbly appreciate it and i'm very very grateful that you're willing to spend a few bucks on on the things that i create thank you so much for that thank you okay that's about everything we have for today um i'll get back to you as soon as possible with more amazing things that relies around the appsec and bounty swear so until next time stay curious